evening and welcome back to another episode of Fun and Games with M. Diggy Dog. So, last, however many days ago it was, I did a Roasting Your Cars video and I said if people enjoyed it then I would do a part two. Um, I had a lot of requests to do a part two, so guess what we're doing? Part two. <laughs> if you didn't enjoy the last one and you didn't, you know, you thought, what is this shit? then by all means don't watch this video nobody's forcing you to if you did enjoy it then you know have fun watching me absolutely destroy some more dead whips the weather is absolutely shocking today so i thought i may as well make the most of a bad situation and do this video uh, apologies if your car isn't in this video and you know you wanted it to be um, if I was to do every single car that got sent to me, we would be here for a very long time. And ain't nobody got time for that! Uh, apologies if your car isn't in it. And also apologies if your car isn't in it, because you are about to get wrecked, boy! It's just a bit of fun while the weather's naff. So, this is the last one of these I'm going to do. I'm not going to do any more. Because um, then people are literally just going to accuse me of milking it. Which, I am actually milking it right now. So, some light-hearted bants. It's something to keep going through. A day of rain and misery so you're welcome <laughs> for everybody who i have chosen to roast on here um look at that brand everything oh. so, without further ado let's get to some hot boy roasts on with the video so first things first and the realist and we have at j jennings 97 with his Megan RS 265. Got to put the 265 in there so everybody knows how much brake horsepower you've got. The first thing I noticed about this geezer's profile is you have got your from Birmingham in your bio, which that in itself is a crime. I wouldn't be admitting that, bro. Looking at your car, it looks like you've gone to the effort of doing sweet FA to it, other than putting short plates on it and leaving the two holes where the original plates were. So well done, you've played yourself. Next up, we have got Liam Pat94 with his Civic. Everybody knows how much I love a Civic after the last video. All I can really notice about this car is it's got a quick release bumper, which is probably so that you can take the rear bumper off really quickly and have a look, see how much more rust has appeared since the last time you checked. Because it's a Civic, I imagine it's probably quite a lot. Purple wheels, uh, super original. If you've got a shit box, first thing you do, I'm going to paint the wheels purple. And then you've got a J3 sticker on the window, which tells me exactly what kind of person you are. Next, we have got at that Volvo S40 with, as the name would suggest, a Volvo S40. Crazy stuff, I know. Woo, these Instagram names, you guys, honestly, some of them are so good. Anyway, so we have got a Volvo S40, uh, you know, wow, <laughs> so interesting. Find me a P1 Volvo that's not got halos, it's blacked out and it doesn't have moose badges on the wings, then honestly, like you found the equivalent of gold dust because every single one has those things. Well, Volvo drivers are the worst. Next, we've got at Y40 JKE with a one series. Now, couldn't help but notice the fact you've got M Sport in your bio, but M Performance down the side. Something a little bit fishy going on there. I'm no FBI agent, but that looks suspicious. Upon further inspection, you'll never guess what. It's a 118D. Would you believe it? Almost like my suspicions were in fact correct. Put in M performance on a 118D is almost as bad as putting a Polestar badge on a diesel C30. People that do that need to be shot. Now, with this car, I can see that the owner has thought maybe, just maybe, if I put a M badge on this car and put a splitter on it, then people will think it's an M140 and they won't actually think that my car is as slow as it is. But that's all right, but I just want to make sure that you've got a good enough excuse when you get to the traffic lights because that's where, you know, the uh, the disguise is going to, it's really going to show itself. Next up, we have got L23JJS. Oh, this is a Golf. 
which is trying to look edgy with the red cable tied to the grill. Don't quite know why people do that one either. I also love the fact that you've taken the VW badge off, but you've left the indent of where the badge was so that people just think that your badge has fallen off as an opposed to you, you know, debadging it. Hashtag modified. I also like the way that you've painted the wheels a funky colour because, you know, that's obviously to make it stand out, which you are going to need because you drive a Golf. Now we have got k7 underscore rhv all i can say about your car is it looks like a typical slow ford trying to look fast now next up we have uh, at just james with two a's so that people don't mistake him for the probably five thousand other people on instagram called just james james drives mg zr now if you gave me the choice of driving for a week an mg zr or a Fiat Multiplier, I would choose the Fiat and I wouldn't even think about it. Um, this car chews through head gaskets almost as much as what a typical MG ZR owner would beat up their wife after downing 10 cans of Stella. You, you basically made yourself look like a wife beater, James, to be honest, driving around in that thing. To be fair to you though, James, one positive of you now owning this car is that you won't have to worry about this one getting stolen because somebody would bring it back probably like five minutes after you know they've seen the state of the front bumper um, which you did actually say to me uh, that you didn't want people to see so i'm now going to insert a photo of it here enjoy <laughs> stop we have at alex underscore water 98 now he has a t5 c30 which is a focus st's far prettier sister i must say now alex has gone for a very interesting rap on his car um which i can only assume is to like, draw attention away from the fact that it is an automatic because if i was you alex i wouldn't want people to know that my car is an automatic as well and if you know volvo geartronic you know that it's about as much use as a chocolate fire guard the, the rap is doing its job it's definitely interesting uh, grow up and get a manual mate have at that focus mark 3.5 now he has a yellow Focus ST. Another Ford trying to do the most. I feel like if you are to own a Ford and you are wanting to modify it, then you must go down the route of buying every single like possible modification you can find off of eBay. Number one being bonnet vents. To be fair, with the money that you've spent on pieces of plastic to decorate your car, you probably could have bought an RS, which I would have done personally. Work smarter, not harder. Now we have the one and only, the Savage Garage with his Mondeo ST. Now, if we were going to put this on a spicy scale, it would be Nando's Lemon and Herb. I feel like this car definitely should have a boost bus sticker on it somewhere. It looks like it's also got two willies on the engine cover, which is quite weird actually, but it is about right for a Ford. Also, this car just gives me a media chav mum parking on the double yellows outside school, waiting to pick the kids up, window down, fag on, cascada on full blast. Next up, we have at Matty F BMX. Yeah, he's got a C30. Shock. In terms of modified C30s, like I mentioned last week with Jesse and his starter pack, modified C30s also have a starter pack. Now, to own a modified C30, you must complete all elements of this starter pack, which I will tell you now. We need it to be blacked out. We need coilover. We need a different coloured Volvo badge. This one has Lolvo just for extra spice we've got a fat sun strip last but not least some halos because rumor has it all modified c30s well the facelift ones they all look the same now actually mighty has gone to the effort of putting bbs wheels on his c30 jeez now this takes his car from a nando's lemon and herb to a nando's medium although it does still look like every other one. Maybe one day C30 owners will actually modify their car so they all look different and they don't all look the same. 
Now we have at Gabby the Golf. Quite a cute name, give you that. A Mark IV Golf, which is on Porsche Twists. I mean, that is just amazing. It's like iconic, it's unique. I've never seen that done before. It's outstanding. It is just like incredible, one of a kind. I just don't know where these people get the, you know, like the vision to do these sort of things. It's so creative. Now we have at Mark underscore 3RI with a Corsa C. Um, well, it's a silver Corsa C and we'll gloss over the sheer crispiness of that front wheel arch, but it's all right because it'll probably rattle can it neon green or something next week. So we don't even need to worry about that. The bonnet is also raised so that people know that he's an absolute weapon. They won't even come near him. I won't go in near him. He's got his bonnet raised. Obviously, he's got pussy magnet on the um, on the photo that he sent me because there's a cat next to his car. Um, I hate to tell you this, but the only pussy that that thing's going to be attracting is year nine schoolgirls who want a lift to the drive through and then want you to go into the corner shop for them and probably get themselves some bevies for a house party. They're the only girls that are interested in your course, mate. This is quite an interesting one, actually. It's, I don't know how you say this, Lamb Zero NT93. Probably absolutely butchered that. He has a Mercedes. Now, he thought, the only thing I can think about this car, but I own a really, really ugly Mercedes, so I'm just going to bag it and put it on some shiny wheels, and everybody's going to love it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get into a show and shine at every single show in the UK. Don't do anything other than put it on bags and some shiny wheels, and then that's it. You'll, uh, you'll have them all chasing after you then. Last but not least, we have got at Josh Squires and he has a c30 as well uh crazy another volvo on a volvo orientated youtube channel and honestly it's baffling now uh, all i can think about when i see this car is that josh would definitely have liked to have bagged his car um but he doesn't want his mates to take the piss and he once saw a meme on facebook that said that bags are for shopping so he thought fuck it i'm just gonna have to stay static so he did and now he, he deep down he probably cries about the fact that he does want bags but he's committed to the static life now just get bags it's easier in it but yeah that is all the cars for today um i hope you enjoyed this video it's just a bit of light-hearted banter everybody who's in the video you know volunteered themselves to be in the video i hope it made your rainy day slightly more interesting apologies if you came here to see me fucking shit up on one of the cars um i will actually get back to doing that very soon if you didn't know the color of the 940 is now revealed and if you want to see what color the 940 is then go on my instagram scandalous the whole rear end is painted i'm now going to move on to the front end which is what i'm going to be filming so expect some videos on that very soon hope you enjoy the rest of this horrible miserable day hope this provided some sort of entertainment for you and yeah good night god bless thank you very much that's disgusting that's been sat there for two days <laughs>